The Chief Minister said the double lock was never in doubt, given that it was a commitment first entered into by a Labour government. In fact, the term was first used by the former Labour Foreign Secretary Jack Straw in 2002, at the time of the notorious joint sovereignty discussions. The term guarantees that there can be no change to the sovereignty of Gibraltar without the consent of its people and the UK Parliament. Taking to X on Sunday, Fabian Picardo said there's lots to do, not least to restart the political aspects of the work for a UK-EU treaty on Gibraltar. He said their positions were totally aligned as they continue the important work together, hand in glove with the UK in partnership. Mr Picardo said he looked forward to meeting Mr Lamy very soon and to additional appointments by the Prime Minister to other positions in the FCDO. He said for the first time in history, there are socialist governments in London, Madrid and Gibraltar and that this ideological solidarity would no doubt help in the work ahead. Meanwhile, a treaty over Gibraltar is also on the Spanish foreign minister's to-do list with David Lamy. José Manuel Álvarez also took to X to say they'd already spoken and had agreed to work for the well-being of citizens in both countries. He highlighted areas such as mobility, commerce and investment, and specifically Ukraine, the crisis in Gaza and an agreement in relation to Gibraltar. The Spanish foreign minister said he looked forward to working with a progressive government to advance the European vision. David Lamy replied that he too looked forward to working with him to take the UK-Spain relationship from strength to strength, building on the deep ties between the people and businesses, including reaching a deal on Gibraltar. Speaking more broadly to the British press, Mr Lamy said he wants to reset the UK's relationship with the European Union as well as to strike a new EU-UK security pact. As for the Prime Minister, Sir Keir Starmer wasted no time in embarking on his reset tour of the UK with visits to Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland.